Hey everybody, how you doing? Uh, today what I'm going to do is show you how you can take a $1 aluminum water bottle that you can buy from any resale store or garage sale and you might even be able to get it for a quarter um, and take this and turn it into a radiator overflow catch. Um, so here's basically uh, you know, mine on the car and what I'm going to go ahead and do is take that off real quick and basically show you what I did. It only takes a couple modifications uh, to make it into a radiator overflow catch can. And um, like I said, I'll go ahead and peel it off here real quick. And then uh, I'll show you, you know, the, show you what I did real fast. All right, so I've got the uh, overflow taken out of my car. And you can see here's another water bottle, basically the exact same thing that I picked up, like I said, for a dollar. Um, really all I did to make this work for a radiator, radiator overflow is you can see, basically I, you know, TIG welded on a piece of aluminum strap. Uh, this is about a sixteenth of an inch thick. You can see it's not that thick. Uh, basically just kind of formed it a little bit around here and TIG welded it on. Uh, if you have a piece of aluminum strap, you could either, um, you know, form it to it. You could use a, a product called Aluma Weld probably, um, you know, where you basically just take a torch and, and um, do the same basic thing. I understand it works pretty good. I've never used the product myself. Or you could do a couple pop rivets and just put a little silicone on those pop rivets, you know, so any coolant didn't seep out. And then really all I did to the top itself is I kept the original bottle top and I just drilled two holes in it. Um, so you see I've got a larger hole uh, right here, um, you know, this basically big enough for the tube to slip through. And then I've got a smaller little vent hole on this side. And then if you look on the back side of the cap, you can see again the big hole and then you'll see the small little vent hole uh, on the bottom. And basically that's all I did, you know, other than sandblasting this uh, water bottle, uh, depending on how much stuff you have on it, like you can see this one doesn't have a whole lot on it. You could probably just take a wire wheel to it and clean it off. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and actually powder coat this one. Uh, I have a powder coating kit, and so I'm gonna do that and, and you know, I'll show you what the finished product looks like here um, when I go to bolt it back on. So again, this is just a really short little video um, just to show you, you know, what you can do inexpensively, you know, for a dollar at a re resale store and probably just a couple of dollars more, you can make your own a uh, real inexpensive radiator catch bottle. And I've used this uh, for two different vehicles. Um, I had one on my 65 Mustang and now I've got one on my 70 Dart. Hey guys, so this is basically now my coolant overflow bottle. So you can see uh, I just got finished powder coating it black, uh, matte black actually, and it turned out really good. So but now I'm going to go ahead and put it back on the car. Again, you can see how inexpensive and how good you can make something look. Uh, like I said, you could have spray painted this if you wanted to. Um, you know, I had the powder coat equipment, so I go ahead, decided to go ahead and powder coat it. So again, if you like what you see, feel free to like, subscribe, hit the little bell. Um, feel free to leave comments. Um, you know, if there's anything you want to see that I've done in the past, I can, you know, do a quick little video of it. Or maybe you've got something that is a good idea that I can incorporate and, you know, try and do. So again, thanks for watching.